hello everyone how's everyone doing today i trust that everyone is having a wonderful day so i have to today the samsung galaxy on 5 and i want to show you guys how to update it to 107.1 nougat now just keep in mind this is the unofficial update it's a custom rom and um in order to install it you must have a custom recovery and the bootloader on this phone is locked so before we can install the custom recovery we have to unlock our bootloader and also just ensure that you have the files copied onto the phone as well so let's go to unlock the bootloader so in order to unlock your bootloader you can you go to settings and then scroll all the way down to about device and then go to build number tap on it multiple times and then you see developer options turn on so go back and then you see developer options enable here so go on to developer options turn it on okay and then this is what we are focusing on oem unlock so tap on this and turn on now with oem unlock enabled the bootloader is unlocked let's power off and boot into our recovery so into in order to boot into our recovery sorry in order to reboot into our download mode we press volume down power and home button so i'll show you how to do that just allow the phone to turn off and then let's go so just hold the buttons together and then you'd see this menu pop up here so to continue just ensure that you have Samsung USB drivers installed because we'd be going to Odin to flash troop. So open Odin and then tap on AP and then look at the folder where you have to download it. In my case, I have a special folder and then double tap. Now connect the phone and then volume up to continue. And then you'd see this blue thing over here. This means that the phone is connected. And then start. So you can just hold the volume up and home button while this is going through. And then it will just re um, boot into Troop right away. Okay, it didn't happen for me. So if it didn't happen for you, all you can do is just power off again and then boot into recovery so power volume up and home button i'll show you how to do so let me just allow the phone to finish boot okay so power off all right so volume up home and power buttons together and release the power button and twoop we are now on twoop so swipe to allow modifications and now to install the ROM wipe advanced wipe Dalvik cache system data and cache it do not wipe internal storage if you have it on your internal storage do not wipe it if you have it on your sd card then it's optional to wipe your internal storage so swipe to wipe and then go home and then install and then i have a special folder here for the file rom and this is the file and then swipe to flash now it will take us straight into this just next i agree with the terms and conditions next next um select safe format or hard format it's up to you safe format wipe user data without internal storage that's what i'll do and also backup efs the efs partition is very very important it holds all the phone important information so ensure that you back up the efs partition so next next and then the rom is installing this shouldn't take too much time so just bear a little patience and um, 
it would install okay 51 let's go let's go let's go let's go okay we're almost there we're almost there so this rom is based on the samsung's Great user interface. This was first introduced on the Galaxy Note 7. So if you're familiar with the Galaxy Note 7, then this is what this ROM is based on. So I hope you enjoyed. So let's just allow this to complete. And of course, the next thing we have to wait for is the long boot up process that takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So just be very, very patient. Put set the phone aside, grab a cup of coffee, and then it should be done. All right. It's also installed in SuperSooth, so you have root. If you do not want that, you can uninstall the root on SuperSooth. So, all right, it's it's done. Just finishing up. all right finally we're done so next reboot device okay okay let's see Okay, so the phone is booting up. I didn't pause the video. I didn't pause it at all. I guarantee you I didn't pause the video. The phone is booting up. Just wait about 10 minutes. I won't um, record the entire process because it takes so much time. So I will pause the video and then I'll keep on recording and I'll pause and I'll keep on recording and I'll pause until it's complete. So just be patient. It will be done before you know it. I was lightning before the thunder. 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 Feel the thunder. Lightning make the thunder. Thunder. Feel the thunder. Lightning make the thunder. Hmm, still waiting. Well, I'm recording the video. You guys can do whatever you want, but I have to stay in front of my camera and record and record, so <laughs> I had to find something to do. And if you see it's over like 15 minutes and you see nothing happens, don't worry just hold your power and volume down and just allow the phone to reboot so sometimes that can be an issue so don't worry about it just just hold your power and volume down and reboot the phone and then it should be okay but i'm still waiting it should be done in a while so let's just see just be patient i have no patience because i have to be sitting in front of that camera to wait so yeah 
okay so after let me see about like 10 minutes it took 10 minutes to finish the boot up process so it's now on android it's starting optimizing app 21 of 212 i will skip this and then when i get to the setup wizard screen then i'll come back 61 of 212 66 of 212 71 of 212 72 of 212 75 of 212 76 of 212 211 and 212 okay starting apps Pain device test. Finishing boot. Okay, so we are now on the setup wizard screen. And if you guys are familiar with the Note 7, it's very similar to the Note 7. So let's let's continue. Next, select your language. Now I won't be connecting to any network. I'll just skip this process. Next, agree to the terms and conditions. Why not? No password. Skip. Skip anyway. Finish later. Okay, and we are done. So you can see Grace user interface, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked, of course, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Please subscribe to my channel, show your support. It really, really motivates me to make more videos. So please, guys, I have put a lot of time and patience into this video. So please give me a thumbs up so you can see here um, the different stuff. You have Google Apps. Okay, we have Google Apps. Um, okay, we have mobile data. Everything is functional, so no worries. No bugs, everything. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to show support and I'll uh, see you in another one.